Why are you here? And where are you going? You look at your life, you look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you evading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? Where are you going with your life? I don't care how hard you fail. I don't care how many times you fail the test. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, you can have whatever you like. But if you fall, I need you to fall forward. I need you to fail forward. Now, are there going to be some moments when you want to give up? Yes. Will there be some moments when it's going to seem like it's impossible the pain that you're experiencing, the disappointment that you're experiencing, that you're gonna say, it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's gonna be right there for you. It's, it's gonna be in your face, telling you to go back. But don't let the distractions distract you, all right? You gotta keep moving, don't stop. Separate what you do from who you are. That's what the guilt trap is about. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. A lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work, and you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody and fear comes in. You know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house. Maybe it's a broken home. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're, about, you, maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you, just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? Right now, you're at the worst place in your life that you've ever been. I believe that this is your beginning, but this doesn't have to be your end. That just because you are currently here, this is your present circumstances, that life don't have to end for you right now. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? Your why? Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? Yes, we're tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is what I talked about. This is not the goal. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what it looks like. I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, 
If I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. So I need you to believe. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. And it's not the end until you've given up. There's still hope. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. I used the pain to push me to greatness. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. There is still time, as long as there's breath in your nostrils, as long as you can wake up in the morning. It matters how you're going to finish, and you will find that strength to get back up. If you're still in the game, which means if you're in the game, and there's still time in the game, still time left in the game, you can still win the game. You can't afford not to be you. You can't afford just to go to work so you can get a check. You cannot afford not to see what your greatest is. You can't afford not to put your foot all the way down and see what you can get out of life. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. I'm going to empower me and all of these things that are happening to me right now. They're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. You can't afford not to be you. You're going through some hard times. It has not come to stay. It has come to pass. It takes guts to pick yourself up. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. And many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. I mean, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, to start fighting back. Life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you are. It's necessary if you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. Here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right? And it's worth it. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give up. That you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again. And that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And that it's hard. Easy is not an option. And when life knocked you down, jump back up and say, it's not over. 